Welcome to the introduction course. This video will show you how the platform works and the basics you need to know to go effortlessly through your courses. If at any time you want to skip this video and get a first-hand experience of the course, all you have to do is click on the next button that you will find above and below on this page. Don't worry. I won't be offended. To begin, let's look at the top of the page. This area is called the navigation bar. Here, you will find the most essential options for navigating your course. For example, click on the Course tab to access the course's catalog and outline. Clicking on the Progress tab will reveal how well you're doing in your studies and exams. When you take the demo course, we'll provide a simple progress report matching your results. In the Discussion tab, you can communicate with fellow students on topics and projects and interact with the course staff. You also may find other tabs containing course announcements or any other resources the course staff wanted to add. On the course catalog, you will find the entire course, starting from the top down. Typically, a course is delivered in sections, like chapters, divided into subsections and units. For example, the first section of this course is the introduction, and when you click on it, it displays the content of the subsection. Once you click on the subsection title, you can access the unit where each class's content is. Let's now look at the learning sequence bar. Each unit is represented in an item in the bar above the content page, revealing a corresponding learning sequence. Work your way from left to right. Learning sequences can contain lectures, exercises, and interactive lessons you can complete on your schedule. Its interactive lessons, including demonstrations, visualizations, and virtual environments, make the platform fun and unique. The platform also supports more traditional question formats like multiple choice, but also tests your understanding by allowing you to use simulators and even asking you to write an essay. Interactive lessons are often graded and contribute to your final grade. You can see how the course's questions for gauging your learning process can be auto-graded or give detailed feedback in real time. So, while a course might be rigorous, the tools and visualizations are fun and interactive. Finally, students like to interact in many ways to get the most out of a course, for example, by participating in discussion forums. Engaging with others while taking a course makes you more likely to succeed. Now that you've seen how easy it is to take a course here, experience this introduction course firsthand. All you have to do is go to chapter 1 by clicking the next button.